Uh, we are going to talk to uh, a couple of uh, Six Music News reporters, though, uh, who are at the different venues. Uh, and uh, first up at the Mountford Hall, we should have Matt Everett. Evening to you, Matt. Hello. How are you doing, Lam? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. It sounds like you've found a nice little quiet corner away from the Madden crowd. Well, this is... I mean, I'm, I'm now going to ask... Uh Elena from X-Ray, exactly, to describe this, this dressing room that we're in. It, it's not the plush, lavish velvet and gold drapes no. that, that you would possibly expect. No, I think you described it well, saying it's like a hospital in here. <laughs> <laughs> but I, we're, I'm wearing velvet, so we're sort of making it velvety, yeah. in a way. Bringing a little bit of luxury. Stop it, I mean, <laughs> always. <laughs> uh, thank, obviously, thank you very much for doing the show for us. It's, it's fantastic. How's it been taking, you know, because studio record, live embodiment, these are two very different things, different disciplines, different approaches. Has it been a challenge? Have you enjoyed it? Um, I think I've really enjoyed it, actually. It's kind of, it's very strange... Um, record to sort of then be playing live because it's such a personal um kind of it's such a personal album and kind of was a sort of very sad album to write but actually it's really fun to play live and um yeah it's really lovely to have three buddies um on stage with me and yeah it's great we're just having a really good time actually yeah, because it, it's it's such in places such a sort of in, the record. There's a mix of sort of very intimate sound, but also this very sort of propulsive, rhythmical sort of danceable thing as well. It manages to be both. So I guess this is this is the opportunity for people to dance along to the music. Well, hopefully, <laughs> in a sort of sort of slow. Well, yeah, no, there is a few songs that maybe are danceable. I mean, I tried to to dance in a video it failed wildly but yeah i think you can i mean everyone can dance whenever they want all the time yeah. actually yeah. i think that's that's all right it's an essential thing to be doing at any gig at any uh, given time yeah. <laughs> i wanted to ask you a bit about the the kind of at the risk of sounding pretentious but it's never stopped me before the kind of visual language of the record because the the artwork and the video you just mentioned yeah. that there's a definite tone and feel and atmosphere to all that stuff i guess that was that was was that something you had in your mind when the music was being written and recorded? Um, I think the, uh, the the scenes are, because they're based on um, real life memories, um, it was kind of quite important to sort of translate those through sound. So I think that um, romance is, because it's based in a in a club, that's the, that's the story of the, of the song. And so it was really important to have the you know pulsing kind of drums the, the sound that you're in a basement or or something it's kind of yeah those things that um translate in the story um yeah of where you know hopefully the sound sort of sets the scene of where you are and um, i think that was really important to me and fabian to kind of evoke that in the music yeah do you, i mean do you, do you feel like there's more sort of weight on your shoulders because this is more although there's a band and it was produced with as a proper collaboration do you feel more like the spotlight is on the spotlight is on you now how does that feel um a little bit i think yeah i guess so thank oh no pressure feeling you weren't worried before you are now now i'm absolutely uh no i think uh i kind of do but i also feel like um i've sort of managed to somehow do a solo project and then um sort of rope in more mates um into my gang so that's that's been quite nice so i kind of feel like i don't have all the pressure of sort of going on stage and being completely on my own um which is really nice um but yeah it's it, it's also been positive because it just means that you know there's a kind of telling a story that needed to really kind of only be told from you know it didn't feel quite right for it to be a daughter record so um there, yeah there's a point to it being a solo thing i think but the daughter, the, the path to daughter continues. That's still, that's not gone anywhere. It's still, they're still, you are still, they are still, everyone is still working under that name. Please say yes. <laughs> no, yeah. We're all still alive um, for now, hopefully for a while. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, we're still working. Actually, I just got back from um, working with Igor he, in uh, San Diego, so that was really nice. Nice. Sunny. Maybe it'll be Sunny Record. You heard it here first. The next record's going to be so. It's so good to speak. Thank you so much for, for doing this. We can't wait to hear the set. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Back to you, Steve. Thank you very much, Matt Everett, who's at uh, Mountford Hall. Uh, you can hear X Ray set later on tonight. The lineup: Mark Riley at seven, at uh, nine. Tom Ravenscroft and Moan, and as part of their show, uh, live music from Anna Calvi and X Ray tonight on Six Music. Hey, hello, good evening, Six Music Festival, Liverpool. Hey. 
I'm Stu McConey. You are live on the radio, so make a little noise. Why don't you? Hello, darling. Especially you people up on the balcony. Make a little noise. Yeah. We have already enjoyed a lovely set from Merseyside's own Bill Ryder Jones. A little later, John Grant will be with us here. But right now, will you welcome an artist who's recently gone solo, having uh, forged a path with the band Daughter? Yes, absolutely. Will you welcome to the stage, X-Ray?
Also, uh, we're welcoming Jethro, Josephine Stevenson, hello, Fabian Prynne, hello, and hello, I'm Eleanor. <laughs>
I mean, it was, it was very sad songs, probably, but also fun. I'm having fun, I don't know. Strange, fun, heartbroken fun. Um, I also keep forgetting to just tune. Anyway, whatever, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Hello, <laughs> I'm still talking. Um, yes, this is great. I'm having a lovely time. Okay, Fab, Fab, do something. <laughs>
sad to leave, but um, you've been so wonderful and we've just had such a nice time. Yay, we love you too. <laughs> so thank you. Human 